birds migrate to move from an area of low or decreasing resources to an area of high or increasing resources. The two factors that drive them to migrate are the need to find food and a place to nest. For example, for an insectivore like a swallow, once the weather starts getting cold and insects are less plentiful, relocating to a warmer climate where there's enough food is imperative for survival. The question is, why don't they just stay there where the supply is plentiful all year round and raise their young there? Why bother with the risks and demands of migration? Though it would seem simpler to stay put in the tropics, there actually are some good reasons why migration, as dangerous as it is, is worth the trip. The first reason is competition with native species. It would seem as if the tropics are a limitless bounty of resources, but there's already resident species drawing off the supply. Add to that an influx of many more birds needing the same fruit, insects, nectar, and invertebrates. The net result is competition. It would be like taking a vacation in the winter to a warm, sunny island, only to find that everyone else in your state had the exact same idea and added to the local population there. The beach would be crowded and noisy, and it wouldn't be the quiet and relaxing getaway you had hoped for. The second reason is that conditions in the spring get good, really good. Think about it. Every plant and animal is reproducing and bringing forth new life. It's an explosion of resources everywhere you look. Birds time their migration with this abundance, giving them the best possible conditions in which to raise their young. Not to mention, raising young in the heat of the tropics would be far more challenging than the more temperate climate up north. The third reason is day length. More hours in the day mean more time available to find food to feed hungry chicks. There is little seasonal variation in hours of daylight closer to the equator. But as you travel north, the days get longer. Go even further north to the Arctic Circle, and for a few weeks of the year, the sun doesn't set at all. The Arctic tern is one such bird that takes advantage of this in the spring and then migrates all the way to the Antarctic to take advantage of the summers in the southern hemisphere. For birds that don't migrate to the tropics, but to more temperate regions, these same principles can be applied. When we look at it from the perspective of the different species, the reasons for migration start to make sense. Do you have any other ideas to add to this list? If so, feel free to let me know down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.